Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. You are watching one of a kind unique series on ESP32 and ESP32 camera module. This is absolutely a zero to hero series for those who are getting into the microcontroller world for the first time. All right. In this series, you are also going to learn about building a IoT projects, few mini robotics projects, and few mini AI projects, or I would call it as a tiny machine learning projects. So that's what the end goal of this particular series is. All right, guys, so let's take a look at it, what we are going to learn today. In this particular lesson, I will show you how to erase the flash memory inside the ESP32. So before flashing the MicroPython firmware into the ESP32, we need to erase the ESP32 flash memory. It's the most important step. Without erasing the flash memory, we cannot load the MicroPython firmware into ESP32. So with your ESP32 connected to your computer, I hope it is connected, you just need to hold this particular boot button, boot or flash, it's also called as a flash button next to your micro USB port. There are two buttons. One is as boot button and one as EN button. So you need to press the boot button and keep holding it. You need to just hold it tight and I'm going to show you a command on the terminal. You need to execute that command to erase the, erase the flash memory inside the board. So let's go ahead and do it right now. I'm going to share my desktop so that you guys can see the command prompt, what I'm going to do. All right. Give me a second. I hope you guys can see my screen. Now, as usual, we need to go to the command prompt. How do we go to command prompt? You need to type CMD, CMD like this or you can also go to the powershell you can open win type win it will open up a powershell so you can use both the options but my preference has always been the command prompt cmd command prompt in this what you need to do is i have a command which is saved in my word doc i will just show it to you so this is what it is it is esp tool.py space minus minus chip space ESP32 space erase underscore flash. This is this particular command is going to erase your flash completely from your ESP32. And this is going to be totally blank. Nothing is inside. All right, let me copy this. I'm going to share this command in my in the below in, in the comment section. And let me open up the terminal. Let me open up the terminal. Let me minimize this. In this terminal, the control V doesn't work. So you need to control. What is happening? Why the control V is not working? Didn't I copy it? Maybe it's not being copied. Let me just type it straight away. So what you need to do? ESP tool dot py space minus minus chip space ESP32 space erase underscore flash underscore flash. All right. Now what we need to do guys, we need to before hitting enter button, please make a note of it. It's a very important step. Do not mess up with your board. You need to press the boot and hold it tight. You need to keep pressing it. Press and I'm going to hit enter. Can you see? Erasing flash. This may take a while. So keep, so you need to be patient. Do not remove your finger. Hold it tight. The serial port has been detected as COM12. It's connected to my ESP32. And then it says uploading the stuff, running the step, hard resetting via RTS. Okay, the chip erase completed successfully. And now I am going to take out my finger. So guys, till you see this particular 
uh, you know the line chip array is completed successfully in 17.0 seconds and then the next one hard resetting via rts pin do not take out your finger it's very important you need to keep pressing this you know keep pressing this not too hard but just a click hold it hold the button and then you run this command then you need to run this command esp tool.py space minus minus dash dash chip space esp32 space es erase underscore flash this is an important command do take a look at it do be very careful and cautious because sometimes this may just corrupt your board itself this becomes unusable you cannot use it again so you have to do it in a proper way the right command without any spelling mistakes and kind of thing before hitting enter guys before hitting enter make a note of it do not hit the enter button without pressing this press this tight hold it then you hit enter then you will see all these things running properly all right so once you are ready you know i will be back soon in the next lesson we will do ton loads of other things i know you guys are losing patience you know but guys setting up esp32 and esp32 cam it's not a easy job but if you do it systematically the way i showed you step by step that is the reason i am building multiple lessons short lessons so that each and every step is followed very clearly just follow this lessons my lessons and you will get along it's little complex but once the test bed the setup is ready you know it's it's a kind of magic there are ton loads of projects we can build i'll be back soon in the next lesson see you bye bye